Guess what, the friends? In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make a quick and tasty breakfast meal prep for easy weight loss. And I'm making freezer waffles. So this is what you're gonna need. Okay, <laughs> let's do it. We got two and a quarter cups of almond milk. I'm using the one from Kirkland. It's unsweetened vanilla. Three large eggs. Three tablespoons of light margarine that has been melted. I'm using the Basel Light. It's my favorite one. Three cups of protein pancake mix buttermilk. I'm using the Kodiak Power Cakes Flapjack mix and it's the buttermilk one. You need two scups, two scups. Two scoops. Two scoops of protein powder. I'm using Huddled because I'm sponsored, but also because it's the best. It's actually HTLT Sups. I'm using the S'mores protein because it's one of my favorites. And use code Nicole to save yourself 10%. The link is down below if you want some cutie. And we also need for mix-ins a third cup of cherries. I'm using frozen cherries. This is the dark sweet cherries from Costco. I rinse them frozen to get off all the red stuff because that way it, I'm hoping it won't stain the pancake batter. And then I chop them up finer so that'll be little bits in the waffles. And two and a half tablespoons of white chocolate baking chips. And I'm using the Hershey's Chippets, white ones. And you, of course, need a waffle maker because we're making waffles. I'm using a Belgian waffle maker. This one I just got off Amazon. I'm not sponsored. It's called the Chefman Anti-Overflow, I believe. I'm making this video because I've lost 130 pounds and I've kept it off for eight years. On my journey, I learned I needed three things in order to be successful, specifically around breakfast. One, I needed to prep them. If I didn't, I would skip breakfast, which would set me up for failure. I would be so hungry by the end of the day, I'd end up overeating and go way off track. Two, I needed my preps to be very quick and easy to do and quick and easy to reheat the next day because I don't have a ton of time to prep plus to reheat it needs to be quick and I don't really wanna spend hours doing the prepping either. Three, they needed to be tasty and filling because I need to look forward to what I'm eating and it needs to fuel my day. And the freezer waffles do all of that. When I'm finished making these, I'm literally gonna throw them in the freezer and when I'm ready to eat them the next day, pull out what I need, put them in the toaster or the microwave to reheat them and I'm gonna have breakfast ready in 90 seconds. And there's good protein in the waffles which will help me stay fuller longer. So I'm basically going to plug in my waffle maker which will start it heating and I want to have it on my number five setting here because I like my waffles to look golden so while it heats I'm going to pour the waffle or the pancake waffle mix in the bowl and mix it with the protein and just combine it really well and the friends, if you want to know exactly what I ate and the portions and everything to lose the weight, I do have weight loss ebooks and a guilt free cookbook. The links are down below. Use code Nicole to save yourself 10% off. I'm going to pour in now all the wet ingredients the margarine, the eggs, and the milk. And I'm just going to mix it up until everything is really well combined. And then I'll fold in the mix-ins. And if you would like to use a different type of chocolate chip and a different fruit, feel free. Just know you'll have to adjust your calories a bit, but you know, whatever you like will work. So there we go, let's do this. Get your mix-in all around, stir it up so cute. <laughs> Everyone we mix around, cause we like it nice and cute, nice and cute, nice and cute. Nice and cute. Oh, you're so cute. Waffle, you're so cute. Wow, that looks really sweet. Fold in the chocolate chips first. Just, just enough not to over mix. Just enough to get in there. And then the cherries. I just wanna do this gently because I don't want the cherries to fully make the batter pink. So I'll just go nice and slight like that. And then I'm going to be using a half a cup 
to scoop. Every waffle maker will be different, but mine is gonna use a half a cup. So once it's ready, we'll get waffling. Okay, I have sprayed my waffle maker with cooking spray and I'm going to scoop a half a cup of the batter and put it in. That, I'm just gonna spread it around a bit. And then let's get this cute waffle squishing. And it'll take one to two minutes, um, depending on your waffle maker, it'll be different. And I'll let you know how many I make when I'm finished. I'm hoping to make nine thick ones, so we'll see what happens. All right, it has been a minute and the waffle is beautifully ready. And I'm gonna use these tiny silicone tongs to help me pull the waffle out. And what I'm gonna do, because they're freezer waffles, I want them to cool completely before I put them in the freezer. That way they stay kind of crispy. So I'm gonna put them all on this baking sheet and let them cool while I make the rest. Wow, that's a beautiful size. It is, that's what I love about the Belgian. They're gonna be thick with lots of protein, which is gonna help me really stay full and I am satisfied. Nine waffles, exactly! This is the cutest day of my life. I did what I wanted to do. Now we got <laughs> nine freezer waffles for the week, plus one for a taste test. So we gotta pause for thumbnail action, and I'll be back with the cows and the taste test and how to pack them, cutie. So it made nine waffles. Per waffle, it is 244 calories, seven grams of fat, 28 grams of carbs, and 19 grams of protein. And that's what I wanted. Super thick waffles that were really high in protein. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna store them. Like I said, you gotta let them cool completely. And then I'm gonna store three per bag in um, with a paper towel in between. That way it sort of absorbs some of the moisture. So I'm gonna do like that and then put one on the other side. See that? And that's it. I'm gonna zip that up once they're fully cooled, put them in the freezer, and then in the morning, I'm gonna pull out what I want and I, probably one or one and a half or two, depending on the day and how hungry I am, put them in the toaster or the microwave to reheat them. For me, it's gonna be 90 seconds, probably in the toaster. Depending on your toaster and microwave, it might be different for you, but 90 seconds, breakfast is done. And this is how I'm gonna eat it on the taste test. I'm going to show you. I'm gonna serve it after I toast her up in the toaster with a tablespoon of this. This is low calorie syrup. I like the Steve's maples because you can have like four tablespoons for only a couple calories. So I'm just gonna use a tablespoon. And I drizzle her on. Wow, I'm so excited to eat this. I'm gonna have half for me and give half to my sassy because he's a cute boy and I think he'll like to eat this. Oh, thank you. You're welcome, look at Oh, it's so cute. Oh, wow. Mmm. It's like crispy on the outside. It's really soft on the inside. And the flavor from like the protein powder, the mix, the fruit, like everything. Oh, I'm in heaven. <laughs> wow. Breakfast is prepped for the week. We're set up for success. Dance it up now. <laughs> Dance it up. Hope you enjoyed this video and it inspires you to make super cool breakfast that you love. Don't forget to subscribe if you didn't already because you don't want to miss this and sassy and all this fun, cool, cute stuff. And watch this vid and this vid so you can learn more about how Sass and I love our food. Keep the weight off because he lost the same amount and kept off the same amount of time. How we love life and just do this all day. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll catch you in the next vid, cutie. Sweet muffin. <laughs> See you. Bye. Remember the friends that weight loss isn't just about the number on the scale. It's also about here and here. Heart and mindset. Fight through it. You can do it. Don't give up.